man, let's let's go to another interesting topic. And this comes from Stephen A. The Mouth Smith. The guy that's always yipping and yapping. And don't get me wrong, I like Stephen A. sometimes. But the you know, but truth is truth. Stephen A. Smith don't know a goddamn thing about the New Orleans Pelicans. He don't follow this team like we've been saying all season long when he's been making those predictions. And we predict that the Portland Trailblazers, that's what him saying, the other idiot from Fox, who used to be on ESPN, uh, they spoke about it. But Stephen A. St- uh, Stephen A. Smith in particular picked Portland to beat the, the Pelicans. Well, I'm CJ McCullum and Damian Lillard. They're going to just do this and that in the third. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Flair. And, and, uh, and I tried to tell him. But these guys are hard head. But when they when they finally come over to your side, you got to give them some love. You got to say, well, you know, smack them in the back of the head. See, I, I, sh- I told you. I told you, you knucklehead, what you was dealing with. But let's listen to what Stephen A. Smith said in, during his show about the Pelicans, uh, which is a complete reversal of what he was saying earlier. Here's Stephen A. Let me tell you all something. I am absolutely stunned at what I'm witnessing in this New Orleans Pelicans Portland Trailblazers series. Listen, <clears throat> we must have forgot. We're all guilty of it to some degree. When you look at a Rondo, and remember, this is the guy that was on the Chicago Bulls. Um, last year when he went down, the Chicago Bulls were actually winning that series until Rondo went down. Once he went down, series was over because they lost their point guard. Uh, he's a champion with the Boston Celtics. 2008 is a guy that gets it done, particularly when the pressure mounts. He does a whip beneath it, and we get all of that. But for him to still keep doing what he's doing, it's a big, big deal. Drew Holiday has arrived. He's not flashy. He's just a guy going up against a star, in my opinion, Damian Lillard. That I, it's just hard to imagine what he's done. Damian Lillard doesn't even shoot 33% in this series. He has been put on lock and key by Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is bigger. He is stronger. He plays above the rim better. Um, He's just as fast. And Damian Lillard, a star, Mr. Clutch, as far as I'm concerned, seems ill-equipped to do anything about this. CJ McCollum did his thing last. They had 22 points. He didn't play bad, but Damian Lillard, is just this guy's all over him. It's just a really, really bad look. There is no way around this. There truly isn't. And I got to tell you something right now. Portland Trailblazers is going to get swept. Series ain't going back to Portland. I can't see it. They had a shot last night. Ladies and gentlemen, they didn't lose. They got annihilated. They got annihilated. This game wasn't clo- wasn't as close as the score indicated. They got destroyed. Anthony Davis doing his thing. Meritich's doing his thing. Drew Holiday was relatively protected. Both him and Rondo had 16 points, even though Rondo had 11 assists to go with it. But they've galvanized everybody. I'm not thinking about the Pelicans against the Blazers in this series anymore. There are two things on my mind. One, the shocking, stunning display of Damian Lillard, how he's been held in check. Because I love his game. And I'm shocked by what has been done to him. The other side, the other thing I'm thinking about is New Orleans is going to be hell for the Golden State Warriors to deal with in the next go-round. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like competition, how about this? Anthony Davis, the superstar that is Anthony Davis, because he is a superstar, make no mistake about it. The superstar that is Anthony Davis against Kevin Durant. How about Drew Holiday versus Klay Thompson? Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to get interesting. Very, very interesting. There's no way around this. I got to tell you that. There is no way around this. That's Stephen A. Smith, man. <laughs> hey, you, hey, do, you, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying, family? Do you understand what we got to deal with, with these type of people? First of all, we've been t- we've been saying that all season long. He finally knows their names now. Before it was with the, it was some bland description about something that they did from a, from previous uh, playoff experiences or whatnot. Look, the bottom line is this is a team, and Anthony Davis does not have to score forty five and fifty points a night to win games anymore. 
This is a team. This is how teams that play together, play together and win together. This is the proper way to do it. It's just excellent. This, the, this coming from the same guy that said that the trailblazers was going to beat the Pelicans in six games. Doesn't it hurt? Doesn't it make you feel all warm inside that you hear a big mouth guy like Stephen A. Smith eat crow and say, Hey, you know what? Then I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Well, you might be shocked, but we knew and we tried to tell you before that if you don't know what you're talking about, shut your big mouth up and talk to some people that know that watch this damn team. We know what the Pelicans is capable of. We know what they could do. We knew that Portland was not going to beat them in this series. We said as much. I don't know if we ever predicted that they would be swept, but I most certainly did not think that Portland was going to win this series because the Pelicans were, are a better team than the Trailblazers. Isn't that not, that's not being disrespectful for the Trailblazers. They merely say they are a better team, team being underlined there. You're not going to just win with, with Lillard and McCullum. If I remove Lillard and, uh, Lillard and McCullum from you, then how do you score? How do you win? You do not. Thus, they are not going to win. And it, it don't it sound good to hear him say out his big mouth, out that big yap, that the Pelicans are going to sweep them? And then now and then even have the gravitas to uplift us against Golden State when he picked Portland originally to go against uh, Golden State. <laughs> oh, I just love it, man. You know what, Pelican family? Just bask in all of this as all these 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 backwards uh, uh, so-called experts, these talking heads with the big mouths start eating crow and eating their words from the picks that they made. Because very few of them actually picked the the Pelicans to win this series against Portland. We would be overwhelmed by Lillard and McCollum, who are terrific in their own right. But two players do not make a team. Hey, wonderful. 